All right, you're done. Let's look at my solution. First, I hope you grab the projection from the notes. Since we're populating a list view, we need a weather entry ID. But since we have a join, we have to specify this ID precisely with a table name followed by the dot, followed by the column name syntax. We're not using all of these columns, but having these constant defined will help us keep the code compatible with the updates we're doing in the next lessons. Of course, these indices are tied to our projection. If the forecast columns changes, we have to modify these accordingly. In onCreateLoader, we then pass forecast columns as the projection into our cursor loader constructor. Finally, we can fix up convert cursor row to UX format within our forecast adapter to take advantage of these declared indices. And that's it. We're done. Let's run it. And it looks exactly like the last time we run it. It is pretty typical for this section. But the good news is it's still working correctly, and it's a little more efficient. We're going to take more advantage of this in Lesson 5 as we make more sophisticated user interfaces.